Ja, unsere Vision ist Krebszellen. Our vision is to be able to better understand cancer cells, cancer stem cells, and to develop diagnostics and therapeutics to be able to combat late stages of cancer, so-called metastatic stages. Biologist Andreas Tromp chairs the Department of Stem Cells and Cancer at the German Cancer Research Center, in short, DKFZ. Tromp is also director of HiSTEM, the Heidelberg Institute for Stem Cell Technology and Experimental Medicine, which is a public-private partnership supported by the DKFZ and the Dietmar Hopp Foundation. Tromp's goal is to better understand cancer and metastatic diseases, in particular to identify possible vulnerabilities one could target for effective therapy. Tromp and his team have focused on cancer stem cells, mutated cells which in cancer multiply at a high rate and form tumors. The mechanism of tumor formation is similar to that of tissue formation through normal stem cells in healthy organs. Each stem cell can create billions of new cells, the rare stem cell occupies a special niche and produces progenitor cells that multiply rapidly. These then develop into specialized cells that play their respective roles in our organs and tissues. When stem cells are altered by genetic mutations, highly dangerous cancer stem cells can form. These produce rapidly growing cancer precursor cells, which then create a new tumor. Cancer stem cells are resistant to many different forms of therapy. Individual surviving cancer stem cells have the capacity to have a tumor re-emerge, despite an initially successful therapy. Trump and his team discovered that tumorigenic stem cells located in cancer-affected tissue remain in the body in a kind of dormancy and only divide infrequently. Sometimes, however, the cancer stem cells do divide and, in a second step, produce proliferating progenitor cells in vast quantities. These cells then grow in an explosive manner, forming a tumor. The cells are examined by fax, a sorting device for individual cells. Using fluorescence markers, lasers and electrical charges, it allows the separation of individual cells from the treated tissue sample and examines their surfaces and signaling networks. Once the cancer stem cell has fulfilled its purpose, it can fall back into a deep sleep, which protects it. It is presumed that this sleep is the reason why cancer cells manage to survive therapeutic measures such as chemotherapy and radiation. They remain silent and untouched in the body. Using certain signals, the cancer stem cell, well hidden between other cells, can continue to divide and form a new tumor. This would be a possible explanation for the recurrence of cancerous tumors and metastases even years after a successful treatment. Nowadays, we have relatively good ways of combating primary tumors, but individual cells can still detach themselves from the primary tumor and infiltrate the bloodstream, which then distributes them throughout the body and allows them to form metastases in other tissues. In this case, the tumor is already fully developed, and unfortunately we cannot cure metastases or metastatic diseases. We can only slow down the process, but we cannot fully cure the patient. Trump and his team have come up with many different ideas in the fight against the deadly sleepers, the cancer stem cells. One of them is to awaken these cancer stem cells from their dormancy by using certain chemical messengers called cytokines. Once the cancer stem cells are awake and dividing, they are vulnerable to attack. Now they can be reached and possibly eliminated, both by chemo and radiotherapy. This would stop the dangerous cycle of cell renewal and cell differentiation during metastasis. Yeah, we have for quite some Recently, we identified metastatic stem cells in the blood of breast cancer patients. These metastatic stem cells are characterized by the presence of three different surface receptors, specific proteins. One protein controls the migration. A second protein, the invasion into other organs, such as the lungs, bones or the brain. And a third protein prevents our immune system from recognizing these cells, which can thereby evade the immune system. Und entziehen sich dadurch der Immunabwehr. There are still many questions left unanswered in cancer stem cell research. 
Do all tumors harbor cancer stem cells? What triggers their cell division and differentiation? At what point could an entry into the bloodstream and thus a possible metastasis be prevented? These questions are those of basic research. The goal is to understand this disease and thus one day make it possible to find specific cancer stem cell therapies. Our research, as well as that of our colleagues, shows that we continuously better understand the secrets of stem cells, the tricks of cancer stem cells as they avoid the therapies. We are definitely on the right path, although much research is still needed to develop specialized therapies to combat metastatic stem cells and one day, perhaps, even metastases that have already developed.